Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is my first weekly vlog for Mental Health Fun 2020, which I am so excited to be co-hosting with uh, Nicole from Beautiful Chaos of Books and Simone from Me, Simone and I. Um, obviously the readathon opens tomorrow, which is the first of May, because it's running all the way through May, but I thought I would just open this vlog today and just have a little bit of a like chit chat with you before we get started tomorrow. So um, I will be bringing four mental health fun videos for you over the next four weeks. Um, this week's video will be a reading vlog for the group book which is The Pieces of Nina Jill by Emma Smith Barton. Um, that's the book that Nicole's picked for all of us to read. She read it for last year's round and gave it five stars so it was fantastic and so we are reading it this year. It's a, a YA contemporary about a girl I think whose brother either leaves or goes missing, I'm not sure which, um, and it's about her mental health basically disintegrating. Um, Nicole said that this has got um, discussions around psychosis in it which is not something I've got very much knowledge on and I definitely want to read more about. Um, any book that Nicole gives five stars I will read anyway, um, so I'm really pleased that she chose this and I am excited to get started. It's very short, so I don't think it would take me a week to read. Um, originally, when Nicole, I'm going to put this down, <laughs> when Nicole um, originally asked me back in, I think it was no, October time, um, October, November time, definitely before Christmas, to co-host the readathon, um, I always had very different plans of what would be happening in May. And I was hoping to kind of take you along and show you more of my like daily life than I would normally show on camera. But we are currently in lockdown and so I've had to rejig or rethink the content that I'm going to be bringing you over the readathon. Because there is only so much of me in my spare room, which where I am right now, my desk is there, I'm just on a break from work. Um, there's only so much of that that's interesting to watch probably not very much at all so what we're gonna do is this week this week's video will be a reading vlog for Nina Jill Nina Jill or Nina Gill someone tell me um so be reading vlog for that then next week I'm gonna do a self-care vlog in which I have chosen I think four or five different self-care methods that you guys have recommended on Twitter I'm gonna give them a go and just have a general chat around self-care and that kind of thing. So that should be a fun week. The week after that, I am going to be doing another reading vlog for The Strange on the Bridge by Johnny someone. I can't remember his surname, which is really bad. Um, I will put it in the description. It's one of the, it's one of the books that I mentioned in my TBR for Mental Health Fun and it's Nicole's host pick. And I'm really excited to read that one. That's a non-fiction mental health memoir. So I'm gonna do a reading vlog for that. And then week four, I'm going to talk about mental health in lockdown. Now that one is still a little bit of a question mark and it depends what's happening when we get to that point. I mean the optimist in me is hoping that we won't still be locked down by then but the realist in me knows we will probably still be here. Um, so that one will be a slightly more serious mental health vlog um, if what I think is going to happen happens. Um, so if there's anything that you want to see in particular in the other vlogs then please leave me a comment because obviously this one is going up first. So that is the plan for my mental health -a content. Like I said today is the 30th of April so we start tomorrow. I'm really excited for it to all kick off. I've been watching like every single TBR video that I can find on YouTube. Um, if you have posted one please make sure you use the hashtag mental health one so we can find you. Um, there's also been some really like interesting chat on Twitter and Instagram about it. So yeah, I'm really excited. I am quite nervous. It's only the third time that I have helped with a readathon. So last August I did Thrillerathon with Harriet and Nicole. Um I then ran my own readathon at the start of the year, which was the Thousand Page Readathon, which was so fun, but man, so much work on my own. Um and then this is my third time. So yeah, I am really excited, a little bit nervous. Uh May in general is gonna be super busy, uh, because I also decided to arrange a charity fundraiser in May, um, which is Books for the Brave. So that's happening next week, the second week of May, because I just didn't have enough going on in my life. Plus, you know, working full time and helping homeschool my kid and all that good stuff. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I have got the mother of all, um, like, charts. So I know exactly what I'm supposed to be reading and filming on each day. And I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, this video is going to be reading vlog for this very excited and i will see you tomorrow once i've started some pages 
It's the 1st of May and Mental Health of Fun has started and I'm very very excited. There's been um, already some good like chat on Twitter this morning. It's still quite early as you can probably tell from the look, the slightly stunned look on my face. Um, it's Friday so I'm just getting ready to start work. I am in my spare room which is probably where the bulk of this video will take place. Although I will try and switch it up where I can. You might even get a bit of our bedroom and the lounge. How very exciting. Um, yeah so Mental Health of Fun has started and... I'm really excited to start reading Nina Jill. I probably won't start right now because I'm about to like start my working day, but on my lunch break, I will definitely be reading a few pages. So I will catch you up after that. But I also thought as this is the start of Mental Health Fun, I would also just show you my plan for the month. Okay, I have had to plan May with military precision uh, because I'm obviously filming for Mental Health Fun. I'm also taking part in Books for the Brave. And then I've got my regular content that as well that I wanted to get up. So um, this kind of tells me I need some books I need to read on specific days. So for obviously I'm doing a reading vlog for Nina Jill, and then also for The Strange on the Bridge, so I need to read those at specific times. Um, also Middle Game I need to read during Books for the Brave, and then I'm doing a buddy read of the places I've cried in public uh, with Nicole at the end of the month, which will be really fun. Um, and then these are all the videos. So some I have pre-filmed, anything that's ticked, I've already pre-filmed and uploaded and is ready to go. So all of my sit down videos are ready. And then it's just the vlogs and also my book for the Brave challenge video that I have left to film. So yes, this is what May looks like for me. I am really excited. I mean, both, pro both projects I'm really passionate about. Um, so that will definitely push me through. And then in June, luckily for you guys, you will see much less of my face because I'm definitely going to be taking a break. It's Monday lunchtime and I'm just about to settle down and do some reading, but I have had a bookish delivery and I'm just trying to work out how to hold this up so you can't see my address. I think we're safe. Um, it's from um, the lovely Leanne at Literary Diversions. Her Etsy shop is the novel menagerie just there. I ordered two bookmarks from her last week and they have arrived super fast and I thought I would put this unboxing clip in this vlog um, because I'll be using her post uh, bookmarks um, during the readathon. And can we just enjoy how cute the packaging is? I love this washi tape. It's adorable. And then also her lovely logo sticker. So I have opened the flap so that I can do an unboxing on camera so oh so cute let me just try and not show the internet my address so it comes like this oh it's so cute with confetti and like that's glittery washi tape i am into it it's so cute okay i can't even if i only ordered it like last week but i've got the memory of a fish right now so i can't even really remember which bookmarks i went for she does bookmarks um she does pins, uh, she does like the, the like flags that you can put pins on, there's a better word for it but I can't think of it right now. Um, oh, okay, and then inside it looks like this. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, okay, so she's put a few extra bits in here which is naughty. Side note, this is not sponsored or gifted or anything like that I paid for the bookmarks but Leanne and I are friends so just to be clear um I think she's put a few extra bits in for me because we are friends so she sent me a sticker which is the quote from Anna Green Gables which is I am so glad I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers and look how cute that is oh I might does this make me a YouTube and I no probably not because I didn't focus okay so I've got that and then oh more confetti Oh, and then a little postcard to say thank you for your order, which is super cute. I will read that in a minute. Oh, and she's put me a note in as well. So I will read that separately, but thank you, Leanne. And then, book, oh, <laughs> just seen something else under the bookmarks. Oh, she sent me some stickers. They're Nina West stickers from Drag Race. Her and I were talking about, Leanne and I, not Nina West and I, obviously, we're talking about our favorite drag queens. Nina West is definitely one of mine and she's just started to make stickers. Look how cool these are. So cool. Okay, that's really fun. And then the actual main event. Oh, I've got another sticker in here as well. Oh, cute. It's a little book stack, like autumn books. Nice. And then the actual bookmarks, which again, come wrapped really nicely. More washi tape, more confetti. There's going to be confetti all over my bedroom floor. <laughs> Okay. Da -da -da -da. Oh yes! So they come like this. 
So I ordered two. So I ordered the Anna Green Gables quote um, with the, I'm so glad I live in a world with Octavers on it. So, oh, they're really good quality as well. Oh, she sent me an extra one. She, Leanne, you're naughty. Um, these are really, really good quality. Look, uh, the paper or the card or paper, whatever they're printed on, a beautiful look at that design. And she hand illustrates these. Like, to have the skill to do this just absolutely boggles my brain. That's really beautiful. And then the other one that I ordered was this one, which says on it, I cannot sleep unless I am surrounded by books, which is a brilliant quote. And it's got, I really like this because we've just ordered some um, more bookshelves for our lounge, which will look a bit like this when they come. So yeah, absolutely beautiful. And then that's the back. I'm, def I'm gonna use this one for Nina Jill. For sure. Oh, and then she also sent me this, which is uh, it says "Hold out for the rainbows" on the back, and it's beautiful. Look at that design. Okay, I have been well and truly spoiled. I would really, really recommend that you go and check out Leanne's Etsy store and order some bits from her because look how cute they are. Thank you, Leanne. Okay, I am fifty pages into Nina Jill, and I've got a very cuddly. <laughs> cuddly jack on my lap um i'm 50 pages in to nina gill and i'm completely distracted by the cat on my lap so i'm really enjoying it so far it opens with a panic attack so just to put in a content warning for that obviously it's the group pick for mental health fund so it's going to have some mental health triggers in it um but I'm really enjoying the way it's written. I really like Nina as a protagonist. Um, she is, you are sympathetic to her. She, is a, she feels like a very real teenager and I'm interested to see where this goes. So far she's been um, to a party with some of her brother's friends. She's trying to work out, it's 10 months since her, bro her brother disappeared and she's trying to work out what happened to him with the help of his girlfriend. Um, but she, she you know, she's also a 15 year old, so she, there's a boy that she likes and all that kind of thing. But already there are kind of telltale signs that everything isn't as it should be with her mental well-being. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's really well paced and it's really easy to read. Um, and I'm looking forward to reading a bit more. It's Saturday the 2nd of May and I'm just going to film this clip quickly before the boys descend upstairs from getting washed and dressed. But I read another 50 pages of Nina last night and I'm really, really enjoying it. I should probably have said this in the opening to the video, but um, this is going to be a non-spoiler review, so I won't be giving any plot details away, although I will let you know about content warnings. Um, it's really emotional, it's made me choke up twice already. I'm in love with Nina and I want her to be okay. Um, which I think is what happens when you read YA <laughs> when you're in your 30s you just want to protect the protagonist um, and it's really interesting because I think it's really clear to the reader what's happening um, but Nina obviously doesn't know she doesn't realize yet what's going on and yeah I'm really really enjoying it so far it's definitely five star um, today I have to do boring grown-up things like tidy my house and do laundry and sort our garden out because it's a tip um, but after that I will definitely be sitting down to read some more. Wow, I look like an egg. Um, I've got the catches here. It's uh, Sunday morning, so 3rd of May, and I am about halfway through Nina now. I read a bit more last night, and it's just so raw. Um, and just having been a teenage girl, even though I was a teenage girl without the issues that Nina's got, but having been one, like she's just one of the most realistic characters I've ever read because she feels guilty about not doing what her parents want her to do. But she also feels angry with them for putting restrictions on her. And then she's confused about how she feels about this boy. And then she's got how she's feeling about her brother. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's a lot, but it's so realistic and it's really well done. Um, we had a really good day yesterday. Um, I'm feeling a bit flat today. Like I don't feel bad, I just feel a bit flat. Um, but I need to do housework and cook lunch for the boys and things like that. So hopefully that will get me moving. And then I'm going to read a bit more of Nina this afternoon. So I'll try and film a, film a few more clips than I did yesterday. But it's kind of tricky because I've got Charlie this weekend. And also we're obviously not going anywhere. So um, I'll probably check back in once I've read a bit more of Nina. Hopefully I won't look quite so much like this. This is my Sunday face. I tend to do all of my chores on a Sunday morning and then cook a big lunch. Today I'm doing toad in the hole. 
Um, and then after lunch on a Sunday, I will have a nice long bath, have a face mask, wash my hair, all that kind of thing. So hopefully when you see me next, I will look a little bit better. But yeah, that's the reading update for now. One thing I am really good at is roast potatoes. Boys, lunch is ready! It's Monday morning, which is May the 4th, so happy Star Wars Day if you celebrate. Um, I have got only about 50 pages left of Nina, as you can hear. <clears throat> I'm slightly losing my voice, but it's a new work week um, and I need to crack on a little bit. I, as you saw, didn't really film any other clips yesterday. I just had a bit of a flat day. It was just one of those where I was just really tired and I didn't really have anything to say and I didn't feel like having a camera in my face, so... I decided not to film. I was also supposed to film a different video yesterday and I just didn't do it so I'll do that later in the week because it was a little bit of self-care just to take the pressure off myself but I've now got like I said 50 pages left of this. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I will list the content warnings at the end of this video because there are quite a few um, but yes I did actually I could have finished this last night but actually chose not to because it is quite emotional and I was already feeling a little bit flat. Um, but I'm hoping it will have a hopeful ending. Um, so yeah, I will be finishing this today, so I'll update you once I've done that, and then tomorrow's clip will probably be just the general wrap of, of the vlog. But I am thoroughly enjoying this. I'm also feeling better today. Um, <clears throat> I'm finding weekends like the most difficult part of this. I think it's because I'm working full time in the week. Work is very intense and busy and demanding. Um, and then at weekends, it, I, it's that sudden reminder of like, you know, we can't take Charlie out to do things and <clears throat> you know we can't go out for lunch and all that kind of stuff so it's definitely harder at the weekends but this is how it is right now this is how it needs to be this is how it should be so I'm just trying to do one thing at a time um but today is a fresh week and yeah I'm excited to finish this and see how it ends Well, I know I said I was going to do the wrap-up clip for this vlog tomorrow, but I have just finished reading the book on my lunch break and I feel like my heart's been ripped out of my chest. So I thought I would do it now while it's fresh. Wow. What a book. This is a debut. I've got it here. This is her debut novel and it's just so powerful. It's a short little book, um, but the power in the writing is, is just really blowing my mind and made me cry um and i feel a little bit like i've been run over by this book which has not happened to me for a while i don't read like i said in my um mental health on tbr video i don't really tend to read a lot of um books focused specifically on mental health sometimes i read books and it's got mental health aspects to it but it's quite rare that i actually pick up a book deliberately because it's got a mental health rep in it um and so this it's just really blown me away. Um, it's very accessible, it's very easy to read, it's very fast paced. You're on Nina's side from the very start all the way to the end. The rep in this is amazing, This just for the um, the diversity of the rep. So um, Nina's family are Pakistani. Um, we've got um, rep for psychosis and anxiety with Nina. Her mum is also agoraphobic, so there's discussions around that. Um, we've got um, discussions around Nina wanting to have a relationship with a white British boy um, and the cultural tension that is there. Um, it's also own voices because um, Emma Smith Barton is a, her um, parents are from Pakistan. Um, she also says in the author's note that she has suffered from anxiety before and that she also, um, someone very close to her, doesn't say who, someone very close to her um, lived with psychosis and she was there to kind of help them through that. So it's very much her own voices and first hand and you can definitely tell that. Um, and I just, it's one of those books I now want like everyone to read and I especially feel like 
young people and their parents should read this book because there's so much discussion around what mental illness is and the different treatment options and how it's okay to take medication and it's okay to have therapy um, and it's okay for those things to be lifelong and it's okay for them to be temporary um, and how you know one in four of us will struggle with our mental health and yeah thank you Nicole for choosing this book I would never have picked up on my own it's a YA contemporary you know it's it, I wouldn't have found it <laughs> otherwise so thank you for choosing it as the group book I think it's a really really good one for a group book because it's got so much um rep in it and so much to talk about and it's also really easy and accessible to read it's not difficult to read or complicated um i do feel like my heart's been pulled out of my chest i'm gonna give um content warnings for um loss of a sibling um for discussions around suicide um also for sexual assault um, and also for uh, obviously anxiety and psychosis and general mental deterioration so just be aware of those in case those are things that affect you but I thought this was fantastic it was obviously easily a five star I will read anything else that Emma Smith Barton brings out um, yeah and that is kind of all I have to say on this one please leave me a comment below let me know if you've read this or are planning on reading it um, or if you've got any others that are similar to this that, as a recommendation because I clearly need to read more books like this. Um, once again, thanks Nicole for choosing this as the group book and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.